So this is uh, another turret trash, LV4000 EX2 Space Turn. And so before I adjust the turret, square it up, do the inclination, I always adjust the Gibbs uh, X and Z. And I used to, I, 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 because of late, um, I used to pull these Z-axis weight covers off to get to the Z-axis Gibbs. And you gotta take the back cover off, you have to pull a bracket off, it's just, and, and it's easy to come off, but it's hard to get back on. So X-axis, let me grab a flag. So X-axis, you have, hard to see there's a this is the right side of the x-axis slide you got a keeper gib you got a positive gib that traps us between the waist and you got one more keeper gib on the left hand side so I do that first this video is probably going to be all screwed up and then I take the end covers off. Instead of pulling the, the weight covers back, way up in there, underneath that way, try and see it. Right underneath that way is a screw. You got a keeper gib on Z on the top. And what they do is they push in from the tailstock in. So you have to go to the other end, loosen the screw up, and you can get to these without pulling the wiper. So you loosen the other end up, you can get to them, you move it closer to the spindle and you can get to both of these. I learned this because I got lazy one day and I didn't want to do all that work. I don't even know if I can get, show you this, but underneath, Right underneath this way. So that, that screw you see right there is a the positive give. What it does is it traps it between the bottom way. So underneath that, you can get to it with long extensions and then underneath underneath the wiper or uh, underneath the way itself. I can't even get there. There's another one, just like on the top side. I can't get a light on it. Right there it is. Uh, there's another gear. So you got three screws. So there's three screws on the tailstock end that you push the gibbs in with. Then you got three screws on the other end. You want to loosen those three screws on the spindle end up. Just, I usually go a full turn because what's gonna happen if they're really loose is you're gonna loosen it up a half a turn and then you're gonna think you got the gib tight and all you're doing is tighten up against the screw. When you come back here to this end, if this screw is tight, you know you're up against the screw on the other end. So you loosen that up enough, then you snug these up. And I don't ever back, I just snug them. I don't back them off on the Z axis. I just snug them up and then I tighten the, the, the screw that traps to give in from the other end because these are going to wear in real quick and uh, I like z-axis tight and the z-axis gibbs and the x-axis ball screw control your diameters your x-axis gibbs and your z-axis ball screw controls your face how uh, your the, the face of the um, steps that you're cutting so z-axis Z-axis gibbs and the X-axis ball screw diameter. Your steps, the end of your part, are X-axis gibbs and the Z-axis ball screw. Once I get that all done, I want to check the. So right now I got the turret. I'll show you the bolt pattern to square the turret up. So you got one bolt here. One, two, three, 
four, five, and then six. My wrench is in, I left it in the one right there. Six bolts. After I get that done, I'll pull these plugs. Uh, those are plugs. You pull them and there's, that's a, use a 10 millimeter, pull the plugs out and I think it's an eight millimeter. There's bolts underneath that tighten the tool plate up to the curving, the internal curving. And once you get those loose, you just tap it around until your, your, your Y axis plane your 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 uh, your spindle to a boring tool holder is good, and then you tighten them up, put the plugs back in. After I get that done, I'll face this part off. Okay, face this part off, and then I'll put my indicator on the turret, but I'll put it enough that I can go past zero. So if I cut this face right here. When I put an indicator to it and I come down, obviously it's gonna be zero because I just cut that. But when I go past zero, you're gonna see double the air if the headstock is not straight. So if the headstock's crooked, cut face off a big a big part a big part like this, you come down here, it's gonna be zero, zero, zero. When you go to this edge past center line, you're gonna see double the air. If the turret's straight, you're gonna see zero zero. If it's crooked, you're going to see zero and then double the air. All right, just a few tips that uh, the Z-axis gives mainly. That cut two hours, two complete hours out of uh, doing a give adjustment on Z-axis because it's not fun by yourself. So have a great day. Thanks for watching.